people are saying, oh, AI is dangerous. You can't use AI. Just you're a PhD. You should be able to. No, I have been able to do in the last two weeks, I've been able to do detailed engineering simulations of the kind of material that needs the three gigahertz signal to make it work for anti-gravity. I'm able, Grok has been able to do in two minutes or a minute. In a minute, what I probably could never do ever. Or, or maybe maybe if there was a whole bunch of guys from DARPA, you know, the top guys, or MIT, Caltech, maybe they would, it would, maybe they could do it in three or four months, let's say, with maybe five, five you know, 10 or 50 of them. But, you know, Grok itself already is doing superhuman creative physics. It's not just looking, it's, it's actually putting together, I, I, mean, I have to prompt it, you know, it's where, like we're working together. I have to sort of know how to prompt it, but it's able to, it's doing creative physics, which has never been done by anybody before. It's doing it now, this is a fact.